Dear friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you guys about what is the difference between a web application firewall WAF and a network firewall which is right for you. A web application firewall WAF provides protection against publicly exposed services like web applications, APIs to webhooks. Attacks can include SQL injection, cross-site scripting, to broken authentication and access control attacks. Whilst a firewall protects against attacks from network by controlling, prohibiting or inspecting network traffic for malicious attacks. Web application, firewalls and standard firewalls not only differ in the type of protection they offer but also in overall function. This video will showing key differences between a wave and a regular firewall. Dear friends, please watch my video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment on my video. Wave Web Application Firewall versus Firewall Understanding Security Threats and Defenses Businesses must understand their security threats and defenses in the age of sophisticated cyber attacks and digital innovation. This applies in particular to firewalls that protect groups from different attacks. You must know how to avoid attacks by web and network. Wave and firewall have different levels of application protection as they differ in design, function, operating location. Both wave and firewall also has different kind of protection offered in application level. As firewalls operate in levels 3 and 4 in the OSI model, focus of protection permits minimal attention to the application level which allows firewalls to on transfer of data between networks. On the other hand, a WAVE's primary function is to protect application layer level 7 of the network, thus providing security to entire application layer of network. This application layer includes applications, servers, software and interfaces with which the user has direct access to network. WAVE versus firewall difference between application and firewalls at the network level by targeting traffic from the hypertext transfer protocol http a wave protects your web applications this is different from a standard firewall where external network traffic is blocked. A WAFE is configured to examine all HTTP traffic between external users and web applications. It detects and prevents malicious applications from gaining access to users or web applications. This protects waves against non-day threats and other app layer attacks on mission-critical 
web applications and web servers this is becoming increasingly important as businesses embark on new digital initiatives exposing new web applications and apis to attack a web firewall prevents unauthorized access to a secure local area network reducing the risk of an attack its main objective is to separate a secured area and control communications between the two from a less secure zone without this any computer with an ip address is accessible from outside the network and accessed traffic on the network versus traffic on the application traditional network firewalls are used to protect private networks from intruders the firewall policies in place deny other attempts to connect to the network unauthorized users and attacks from users or devices in less secure zones are examples of network traffic a waif is designed to target app traffic it protects http and https traffic and applications in network zones exposed to the internet ddos xss and sql injection attacks are all prevented as a result of this unauthorized access versus web attack web based attack protection against wave solutions without an application firewall hackers could infiltrate the lan waves protect against web attacks like flooding a network or server with internet traffic it depletes the target's resources and is undetectable sql injection allows hackers to take over a web applications database server attackers can retrieve the sql databases content and add modify and delete records without authenticating with a sql injection hackers can access customer and intellectual property data it was the top 10 overs threat in 2017 cross site scripting allows hackers to compromise user application interactions it bypasses the same origin policy that separates websites to access data and resources the hacker must impersonate a legitimate user firewalls block unauthorized network traffic and access network wide attacks on connected devices and systems are protected a list of typical network attacks number 1 unauthorized network access number 2 credential theft number 3 warp passwords number 4 insider threats hackers intercept traffic between networks in secure communication protocols frequently allow attackers to steal data in transit get login information and take over accounts hackers gain access to a network and also access other systems within the same system horizontally or vertically layer 7 versus 3 
and 4. The main technical distinction is between application level and firewalls. Operating system interconnection OSI model defines and standardize communication functions. Waves guard against app level attacks. Cookie manipulation, SQL injection, and URL attacks are all examples. Browsers and servers are connected via HTTPS. The server layer generates and delivers web pages. In response to HTTP requests, with a wave, a server's traffic is protected from malicious requests and DDoS tools. Firewalls protect data transfer at OSI model, LIS 3 and 4. DNS, FTP, SMTP, SSH and Telnet are all targets. Application Firewall versus Network Firewall have different modes of operation. Wave operates in two different modes are as follows. Passive mode. Passive mode wave operates passively, that is without action, which effectively renders the application network not secure and should be used for testing use case only. Active Inspection Mode In Active Inspection Mode, a wave will continuously scan and offer protection against any kind of threat. Standard Firewall also operates in two modes. Routed Mode A routed mode is firewall's main mode operating on level 3. Executing static and routing protocols and acting similar to a network router. Transparent mode. Transparent mode works only on layer 2 and allows transparent forwarding of data due to the bridging of interfaces completely bypassing layer 3. Application Firewall versus Network Firewall A different network firewall or wave guards against each type of threat. Wave capabilities, not a network firewall, are the only way to prevent website attacks. Businesses risk exposing their entire system to web application vulnerabilities if they do not use an application firewall because a wave cannot protect against network layer attacks. It should supplement rather than replace a network firewall. Web-based and network-based solutions protect different Types of traffic. Rather than competing, they complement one another. A network firewall defends against a wider range of traffic, while a wave protects against a particular threat. As a result, having both solutions is wise, especially if a company's Operating systems are web-based. Conclusion Web application, firewall, WAF and standard application, firewalls fundamentally differ in their operation and designed accordingly to provide secure and robust network infrastructure to users. Knowing these differences will help consultants.
to provide best scenario and implementing design in business dear friends thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment on my video i will keep making these types of useful videos in future so stay connected and make sure to subscribe the my channel is growing continuously due to your support thank you